I'm, I'm just really happy to be home, honestly, back in Ohio. I mean, spending the last two years in California and then the last two and a half months in Europe, um, I could really use a cheeseburger, but um, no, I'm just so happy to be back home. To come back with a gold and a silver, you have to be proud of what you accomplished over there. Absolutely. I mean, any opportunity to represent the United States is always an honor. And to be able to represent, you know, my hometown, my county, and of course, my state is always special. So what do you, th what do you have to say to, the, to your fans back home in Dover and your fans in Columbus uh, with Ohio State? Um, mostly just thank you guys for your constant support. I can feel it all the way in Paris. Um, it, it never fails to bring a smile to my face to get a text from an old coach or teammate or just someone close by my house. I mean, the time difference is definitely noticeable, but it, it, it's always nice to wake up to a text from a friend and just like, it makes me feel more connected like I never really left. It was really cool. Um, this is their first time that they got to go to any of my meets. Um, so obviously Tokyo, we didn't have spectators. And then um, for 22 and 23 and 24 worlds, they just weren't able to come. So I mean, the biggest stage in the world and my family got to be there for it. That, that was really cool. Is it too early to start thinking about 28? It's never too, never too early to start thinking about 28. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, but once we get back in the water, um, it's just sights set on doing better for LA. Ah, oh, man. So in Europe, they have these caps that don't come off. They're just like, they just dangle there. I think it's to help like, so you don't litter or lose the caps or anything, but man, those are pretty frustrating. Um, but no, like ice water and just soda on tap. There's so many things that are done differently in Europe that I'm so excited to have normal back home.